Hi, welcome back to the Paul Hansen Bassoon video blog series. Here's a little taste of some live music from a recent gig. So what has been happening for me this week? Since last week, well, let's see, I've got um, two new Legere reads that I'm working in to see which one becomes the genius of the moment. Uh, I'm working on uh, this incredible Michael Brecker solo behind me that uh, an incredible bassoon player named Alexandre Silvero from Brazil has so incredibly brought on the forefront of the scene. Uh, if you go to YouTube, you can see that. It's the Michael Brecker uh, solo to Invitation that he recorded in 1977. It's a fantastic transcription by Kelly Buschiger. Is that right? Yes, Kelly Buschiger. And it's quite amazing and it's really kicking my tail and uh, I'm enjoying working on something like this again for the first time in a while. Uh, really fun. And uh, what else have I been doing? Well, thinking about transcriptions, I've come up with the idea that probably some people might be interested in a transcription book of some of my uh, jazz solos on bassoon. So I've come up with the idea to do that uh, over the last two uh, solo jazz records that I've released, uh, namely Blue to Sweet and the record Fall in the Land of Plenty. And so I'll pick about eight tunes and write out the head and write out the solo. And um, never thought I'd transcribe myself, but I think it'd probably be something that people might be interested in. Um, so I'll do that and also add a couple more jazz duets. As you might know, I released a book back in 2003 called Techniques for Bassoon Jazz Improvisations. And how that came about was, uh, I had these warm-ups that I do, uh, and um, I have done them for a number of years. They're somewhat difficult, they're kind of geometric. And when I was touring with the Flectones, uh, Bela Fleck and Flectones, the guys in the band just kept asking me, what are you doing? What is that you're doing? You know? Now it's just because they're fantastic, incredibly creative musicians and curious. Uh, it was pretty amazing that they would ask that, so I thought, well, you know, uh, maybe I should write those down, you know. So I did, and uh, a lot of people use that now, so that's, that's really quite an honor for me. So this will be pretty cool, too, because it'll be uh, actual transcriptions of my solo to help people, you know, maybe learn the jazz phrasing, uh, phrasing similar to what I do. Um, I think with transcriptions in me, I have never been one who transcripts too much. Uh, but I do what I can. Once in a while, I used to do a lot more when I was younger. And after a while, um, you, you learn a lot when you do it, but uh, it's also that um, you just, it's kind of a balance coming up with your own idea of the sound and the idea of the kind of shapes you want to use, and then uh, taking from people that you really respect and weaving it into your stuff, you know. It's really hard to just consciously take someone else's transcriptions or lifts and just kind of force feed it into the music that you're playing on any instrument I find. So that's kind of what's been happening. Uh, also, uh, let's see, my uh, amplifier broke. I'm not sure why. I'm glad it made it to the last gig. That was nice. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm working on my bassoon quartet still. That's supposed to be coming out at the end of the year. Uh, I have to get it done and write it all out. I've been just playing it in the computer. Now I'm going to have to actually transcribe that too. So um, it's been busy. So this is pretty much what's happening. Um, thank you very much, and look forward to seeing you next week. Bye-bye.